Alright, so 27th of November, and I'm just going to give an update. It's been just about two weeks since I sprayed all the sudge grass, which is actually growing rampantly. I uh, actually have no idea what this stuff is. Some type of fungus? I have no idea. But, yeah, whatever it is. But as you see, some of them are actually yellowing quite a bit, some not so much. But the one thing that I see, I actually use post-sudge, which is a pretty good concentrate, especially if you have it uh, growing rapidly, is that it's really shutting it down because about a week ago, I actually cut a lot of these guys down, and they're not growing back at all. It was literally stunted their growth, because one thing if you know about sudge grass, and it's growing, is if you cut it, it usually comes back like crazy. Like it's literally, within the next day, it's gonna grow like two inches or so, especially if it's raining. But as you see, all throughout here, it's been over a week ago that I actually cut this stuff. And for the most part, they're not making much new growth, which means it's shutting down the ability to take in water or something. Like I'm seeing some seed pods trying to come up, but for the most part, this post-size stuff is actually working. Because if it didn't work, this, mm, this sudge grass would be probably half a foot tall or even more. You know, it'd be like really tall, just like this stuff right here. So I'm finding that like, the sudge grass that's in between, like all the pots and everything, seems like it's not quite as affected but you know I'll probably have to spray them again which is not a problem because they're definitely getting some yellowing so as you see there is definitely some type of effect on them but I guess since they have more mass to start with it's not uh, getting quite affected as badly or even if they're inside a pot because such grass it's a pain it's really hard to get rid of so, yeah, it's like uh, these little bulbs. Especially when they get in the pots like this. It's so annoying. Because they sometimes grow into drainage holes. And then they set bulbs inside. Or maybe it's uh, even seeds that start out inside of here. I have no idea how they get in here. But such grass is definitely really annoying. But if you're going to try to pull all the stuff out... It'd be nearly impossible to get rid of it all, so it's a lot more convenient to try to spray. And when there's a mass of it, I just simply put it into a watering can, and I simply water all throughout the lawn. Because, yeah, using a water can, it's just so much more convenient to try to wipe out a big space, but usually like in the corners and stuff, or on the pots, that's why I just use a handheld sprayer, and it's definitely making them turn yellow. And it's definitely slowing them down. And this is the stuff right here. Pro sudge. Yeah, okay. I got already use about the, a third of it because I have a pretty bad infestation of it. So I basically mix about two or three of these spoons into a five gallon. It has instructions. It's usually one scoop for every one or two gallons.